We're joined again by the Ithaca College women's basketball team after the Bombers just defeated Catholic University in the first round, uh, 75 to 63. Uh, joined today is head coach Dan Raymond and student athletes Grace Cannon, number four, number 24, Lindsay Albertelli. Uh, coach, congratulations on tonight's win. Do you uh, just want to give a statement about to the game before we ask some questions? Sure. Um, if you look at the stat sheet, um, it's something that we've done all year. It's that third quarter. Um, the adjustments that our, our players make, and when we meet at halftime, it's a conversation. It's not, you know, the coach is just telling the players what to do. It's a conversation. So, you know, we kind of figure out what we need to do better. And, um, you know, the players just did an outstanding job in that third quarter, creating that, that cushion for us, that lead. Um, and then, you know, just kind of hung on through th throughout the rest of the game. Um, the defense was just outstanding in that second half especially. Uh, we'll turn over some questions. Let's go first. Yeah. Uh, Grace, my first question for you. Uh, you reached career triple digit blocks with that last block today. You're not triple digits, at least in every single major category. How's that feel? I mean, it feels great. The win feels better, but um, yeah, it's really nice to like hit those things, especially in the last year, really finish out strong. But as long as it ends in a win. Kim, coach, you talked about that third quarter and uh, you know some of the halftime adjustments, especially in the championship game against St. Lawrence. What's been the halftime changes in the last two games that have been so important? You know, defensively, it's just subtle things that we think we have to do a little bit better on. Um, and then offensively, it's recognition. I mean, when Catholic went to the 2-3 zone today, um, that was something that you know, it took us a while to kind of get our feet under us and exactly what we wanted to do. We made a, a little slight adjustment that we threw in um, coming out of, out of the halftime um, to kind of create some more movement within, within the zone. That's what we always try to do. We want to attack inside out against the zone. Ethan. Lindsay, four blocks today, four blocks in the semis as well. I mean, what makes it so easy for you to get that done? <laughs> um, I think it's definitely the help for my teammates. They definitely bring the people to me, and I'm just kind of there. It's definitely like a team um, effort. For effort of like me getting the blocks. It's just I'm the one who gets the blocks. So. Yeah. Speak about you know four blocks. I feel like the interior is a lot more protected than you and Emily Dorn are playing at the same time. Talk to me about what it's like to play with her. Oh, I love playing with her. She makes it so easy. It's really just like she's always in the right place at the right time. She seals in the right place, makes the right pass. It's, I love playing with her. We'll keep it up with the block party here. Grace had two blocks that almost shut down the whole entire gym. <laughs> what was the emotion behind that? And along with that, how did that help the team moving forward uh, in this game? I think they're really good momentum shifts. Like the the crowd is like insane, and after they happen, you can't really do anything. You're just like, oh my god, like that just happened. <laughs> but they're great, and, and it really did. We were kind of having like blocks like back and forth, but they're just big stops. And uh, as an opposing player, like it just kills the momentum. Like you think they're gonna get a wide open layup, and then like people come out of nowhere and send it into the crowd, and it's just like, oh, that sucks. But <laughs> it's been really fun, and, and it's a great feeling. This is open to all three of you. You guys got out and ran a lot more in the third quarter, a lot of transition points that really built up that lead. Was that something at halftime you talked about that you wanted to get out and run more and get in transition? It, again, it all starts on the defensive end. We had to get stops. Um, and that's really kind of what keyed those, those transition opportunities is getting stops. So we really do rely on our defense. Yeah. Coach, 20 wins in a row, that's the longest in program history. I mean, can you just put that into words? You guys haven't lost the game in 85 days. You know, it's, it's one of those things, and I, and I was talking to our players um, yesterday at practice, that we, we talked about, and, and oftentimes as a coach, you, you kind of bring things up and you think, man, did they really listen? Um, after we lost to Vassar, we put it on ourselves that we were in playoff mode the rest of the season. So that's how we approached the whole second half of the season. Was Every game was, was a playoff game. So that's, that's what we've done, um, and they've really bought into that, that whole mindset of preparing, like this is a playoff game, if we lose, we're done. And that's the way that we've approached the whole second half of the season. Yeah. Is this the message to the Ithaca faithful that came out tonight and really gave their all uh, a message to them for tomorrow's game? I'll let you guys take that. <laughs> we hope to see you all here again tomorrow. <laughs> Um, I'll close with asking this question. I've asked every uh, team that's come in so far. So clearly we've come a long way, everybody, in the last two years. The last time we played an NCAA game in here, that was the end of your season. Didn't have a season last year. 
Grace, can you reflect a little bit? You came back for another year. Lindsay, you would have been back. Just from where everything ended to where we're at now, like what does that mean for you two to be in this position right now? I think this is something that we've said from the beginning. I mean, our mantra for this year is make it count because you really don't know when there's going to be a global pandemic and you never come back and then you lose your senior season. <laughs> but I think we really had made it count. And something that um, – really I'm grateful every day that I came back was this team wasn't supposed to happen like I was never supposed to play with these freshmen coming in and these seniors and like I wouldn't have been here for say the Lizney, Lindsay senior season so honestly really taking that in and like it is special like we all came together never supposed to be together and now we're really making history with this team and I think it we really do make it count every day and that's something we've done for this 20 game win streak and this entire season. Yeah, and I also think that knowing that like at any point anything can happen and take a season away it makes us want to win even more because like who knows next season it could be gone again. Anything else? Well, congratulations. Uh, we have another one tomorrow night. We're playing uh, Springfield five o'clock. Thank you. Yes. Well, thank you.